This is part four in our series of key letting. So I want to just start off with this, with just one minor retraction. Especially if you have to drill through a hole that to, to make it bigger from a smaller lead, drill slow, don't drill fast. You're going to have less chance of tearing up the key. So I just want to tell you that. Also very important, if you had a very old piano like I did to where you had to drill through on the other side to get access to punch the leads out, always drill from the start of the original hole, which would be in my case the right side. Hopefully you understand what I mean here. This, If you saw the other videos, you saw that these keys were flushed with wood and were not drilled all the way through and the leads were kind of glued into place touching the wood on this side. Well, it's not always 100% accurate where you dial in to figure out where uh, to drill at on this side, so always start from the original pilot. The next step is plug cutting. Make sure that your blade is tight and true, and your bandsaw is well tuned. I'm just, I have a fence here that I put up. We're gonna cut them in half. I use two fingers in the right hand. I have to switch, I only have uh, one hand free because of the phone. And I use two fingers on this hand and I roll them. I have a lot of control with this so I don't get hurt, I don't cut myself. Be very careful. Notice what I do here is I put a bunch of them up here. That way uh, I don't have to keep dipping down. So do it any way that you want. Just make sure that you get these things cut nice and straight. On to the next step. Pounding the plugs is relatively easy if you make yourself some jigs. Here as you could see, I uh, have just a little panel where I can roll glue my fingers. And then I take the key and it locks into place. You see there's room for it to go through. I want it on both sides. That way I can cut both sides evenly. It protrudes and then whenever we sand it later it'll be ready to go. I want to make a good point here. If for whatever reason your plug will not go in easily See, I do use a hammer to pound these in, but will not go in. Flip the key over. Don't keep banging if the, if the plug isn't moving. All you're going to do is compress it and break the key, and you don't want to do that. Notice, too, how the grain is going all the same direction. Very, very important, in my opinion. When this is flushed, it'll just look better. It'll look neater. Now let's look at the jigs here for the black keys. See how that fits right in there. They may not look pretty right now, but they sure will. Well, we made it this far. As you can see, all the plugs are in, and the rest of them are in the house. Notice how, best of my ability, the grain's in the right direction. When it appears that it's not, it's because of the saw blade. So all factors were considered. These are all going the right direction, as far as I could tell. This is another tool you can get from Harbor Freight. Uh, belt sander here. Very small, you could see the size of my hand. This is absolutely perfect for even doing key recovering. Uh, they sell a variety of grits. You could get 40, you could get 80, you could get 120. Now guys, I'm using 40. I'm warning you if you've never used a machine like this before, don't use 40. Start with 120, get the fill of this machine because I'm gonna tell you it takes it off quick. I do not cut the dowels. I actually sand them right down and let me tell you it takes it off real real quick. Uh, if I had somebody else recording for me I could show you the process but what I actually do 
With this turned on, using both hands, of course, I press until it's close. Let's talk about this table, though, for a second. Okay, this table's adjustable. What's the part of the key that you're going to see? Everybody knows it's the top, right? So you want to have your table bent and angled to where the key's more like this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Very, very important because if you have it the other way, you're going to end up taking this off and you're going to end up destroying your key. If it's going to be tapered, let it be tapered towards the bottom. Very, very, very important. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let me show you what this looks like after it's done. Like I said, I can't really show one. Let me just kind of tell you here. Once I push down and get them close, that's when I go back and forth watching carefully. Really check. Watch at the same time. I'm telling you, you don't want to ruin these keys. These are ivory. They're irreplaceable, as you all know. I got to be very, very careful. So with that said, say a prayer. Ask God to help you because there's no turning back. Okay, I'm going to show you in a second here what it's going to be like. Okay, take a look at that. It's really, really nice. See, it's, I just barely, barely scratch. And there's more taken off the bottom. See how it's lighter on the bottom than it is in the top? You could see it even more with this. Okay, so there you go. It's nice and nice and flush. And you see the grains go in the, dire the right direction. It looks good. So that's how you do them, guys. Here's some black keys, too, for you. As you can see. They're nice and flush. And another reason we have a tapered is because oftentimes your, your sharp extends out just a little bit. And you don't want that to happen, you know? So, anyway, guys, be real careful. Be real, real careful when you do this. You want to be real professional about it. You don't want to destroy the keys. Can't go backwards, just like cutting hair, you can always take off. You can't put it back on. And piano keys don't grow. I want to say this too. You notice how uh, the black keys especially, they'd be black all the way through. So I use the disappearing of the black paint as an indicator of how flat everything is. You get real good with this after a while. It doesn't take too many sets to really really know what you're doing with this actually by the first set you should be really good at this machine our next step is going to be painting the black keys painting the sides and everything and uh, so this is going to be the end of this video I hope that you learned something and um, if you've done this before I hope that Maybe some of these techniques will help you do even better. I really love the comments, so I can get better as well. I really appreciate that. Any questions, feel free to message. Let's keep it open, though, so we can all talk about this. There's a lot to do. And there's more to do. There's more videos uh, to come in this series. So enjoy, guys. I'm out.